this is where I come from. I, it's I true. Come from here. I am. I'm back to my roots. It's true. I will do my best to find love. I'm excited. Hello, everyone. I'm Nikki Nia Chu, and I'm very nervous. <laughs> Nikki, don't be nervous. You no. know, you know a lot of these people already. Okay, I know. I'm sure. Axel, Axel, welcome, Axel. I love, I love <laughs> Germany. Uh, I may be Estonian, but uh, my father named me after some German guy that he got drunk with in the '80s and then never saw again. So I'm practically half German. Ophelia Bear, go ahead and introduce yourself, please. Hi, Nikki. Hi, everybody. Uh, me, Nikki, you haven't seen me in person, but we've talked twice at Minx's wedding, and I'm super happy to be here. I think you're super pretty, and um, I really like you because when I was at the wedding, it was like my first collaboration, and you made sure that I felt uh, included. You've been on the show. You've been rejected several times. Um, no, this is my first time being on the show. I don't know what you're talking about. I This is my first time being on the show. I've never been on the show before. Joining us from his parents' bedroom, or childhood home from the 1940s yes. bob seven <laughs> go ahead and introduce yourself bob hey bob hey nikki it's nice to see you again i'm i'm bob um i just want to say that i think you're gorgeous i had to hold my tongue last week out of respect for minx so i didn't say that because i'm a i'm a very respectful person you're always smiling and laughing and clapping and nobody ever does that whenever i speak up boo See, that, I just proved myself right. That wasn't even a joke when I said that no one laughs or claps or smiles. Uh, hi, I'm Kara or uh, Captain Puffy. Uh, I, I play with blocks every day for a living and um, Nikki's an absolute sweetheart. I've known her for a while and she's you know nothing but kind. And I, I actually asked her on a date a little bit over a week ago and she said yes. So I think we're on good terms. Hi. Hi, Wilbur. Uh, uh, I, I, I've come from the dumpster outside the back of the level host building. Yes. Uh, I've, I've crept in. I've snuck back in. Yeah. And I'm, I'm here. I'm here to win, though, this time. You're here to Again. win. Do you think you've got Again. what it takes? I mean, I, I know you chose I've done it beginning. once before. <laughs> so. For the first time ever on this show. I've been on this show before. <laughs> for the first rememberable time of being on this show. <laughs> what the? F I'm Connor. Uh, I'm sick today, but I still showed up because I'm so madly in love. Um, unlike Wilbur, I have ample decorations in my room. I got to... Right. Ninja U2s. Um, oh, decorations off right now. You want to know what U2s I have? Is it ninjas? I, I have a U2s too. But it's not a U2. Actually, that's a Funko Pop. Excuse me. That's oh, not wow. a U2s. Okay. Why won't you just relate to her, Connor? I don't know. <laughs> you just shut her down. She's the star of the show. Which no, is... I mean, I got the book too while I'm at it. Oh, have you read cool. it? What? Yeah, have you read it? Connor. Yeah, you know this isn't Ninja's Lover host, right? No, I know. I'm waiting for that one. Uh, hi, Nikki. My name is Alex. I'm from Australia. We don't really know each other, and I'm probably not as clouded as a lot of uh, other people on here, but I do think that I probably have the biggest heart, and I hope you'll give me a chance to show you that. Hi, I'm Carl. Um, Nikki and I know each other. We stream together a lot, and I have been enjoying playing Minecraft with her, and I want to continue playing Minecraft with her. My advantage is I know that we gel well together. Mm -hmm. I enjoy hanging out. I enjoy talking. Mm -hmm. I enjoy gaming mm -hmm. with Nikki. You already know her. Like, why isn't something happened yet? Why isn't the love blossomed mm -hmm. already? Oh True. my goodness, Bob. We, Interesting well, question. Carl, do you have a response? No Carl? response needed, frankly. I feel like. Wow. Oh, um, okay. They Nikki, to... have, you, have you liked it so far? What do you think of Carl? It's been very enjoyable. Yay. Mm -hmm. Trisha, welcome aboard. Mm. Hey, Hi. Trisha. Hi, Nikki. I'm Trisha. So first of all, first and foremost, say I made you this cake, but it kind of melted. A happy birthday, babes. Well, Nikki, Trisha, blow it out. Blow it out, she Nikki. Can't, she can't blow it as a camera. All right, Nikki, you have met all the people on the cast today. Now is time for a very, very, very important decision. It is time to make your first elimination on Lover Host. I'm safe, of course. Yes, you're safe. Congratulations. Now, how that makes sense, that don't... <laughs> Gosh. Oh, yes, it does. Why well, you, don't you go for my king? I just want to say that, Nikki, you are the only person that I find attractive here besides Wilbur. Do we <laughs> only within the past 10 minutes? Do you find more attractive? Will or me? I'm going to go to 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 the bathroom. I'll be back. Can I speak with <laughs> Bottom three. Thank Trisha, you. Ophelia Bear, and Wilbur Soot. Ophelia Bear, go ahead and defend yourself. Wait, wait, wait. My internet's kind of bad. No, Give it's me a not. Sec. It's fine. Um, defend yourself. <laughs> you put... Okay, it's back. Oh. Let's come back. No, it's oh, oh, shit. The person getting eliminated from the show is... 
Ophelia Bear, I am so sorry. It is the end of the road. You have been eliminated from Lover Host. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we move on? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, what are you hoping to get out of Lover Host? Oh, that's a great, great question. Um, you know how I don't know if you if you saw last week, Carl, but I got my heart broken like pretty bad. Oh my, and oh and I, I need someone to help me to forget about that. And who was that? Minx. That was your first mistake. Let me tell you about her. Oh well, my God. Let's hear about it, Connor. What, what's wrong with yeah. Minx, Connor? I've never met a more vile woman in my life. Really? I think. That's the best way to describe it. Um, Would you call yourself friends? Yeah, no. She's 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 a good friend. We were engaged <laughs> at one point. Um, that oh. was, again, a mistake. Not Oops. just engaged. You guys were at your wedding. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I was there. I, I guess I want to hit you with a, a classical problem. Are you familiar with the trolley problem? So say if a trolley was heading at Wilbur's suit and it was going to kill him, but you could pull the lever and it said, save him, but instead kill two babies. What are you going to do? Oh my. Oh my God. What? I might, I might not do anything because you know, it's better Wilbur not to died. do anything than to actively kill someone. But right, also, well, I don't want anyone to die. Thanks. I never oh thought my that my, I would see my chat erupt in kill the babies. <laughs> <laughs> what's your what's your happiest memory uh, in life to juxtapose from that question? When I I had this realization that I was finally able to um, <clears throat> like pay my own rent and pay my own food. Because before that, I was counting every cent. Well, is that, that a dream of yours, Bob? To be taken care of. I don't, I don't not, not really make my own money. That's why, I, you know, she has a lot of clout, a lot of money. That's very attractive, I gotta say. Yeah. It's the hardest year of many people's lives. Mm -hmm. um, but what is one good thing that came out of quarantine for you? That sounds like very bad, considering he's on the cast. But I've been talking to Will a lot during quarantine, and he helped me a lot go, to go through it. I don't even have to say anything. I've won this. I've won this show. Oh, <laughs> I have to say a word. Nikki, what is your uh, ideal first date? I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't been on many dates, so I haven't really put too much to it. Definitely not a movie date because I want to be able to talk to that person. How important is, like, let's say bladder capacity to you? Like, let's say someone is on your lover host and they've needed to pee for the last two hours, but because they didn't want to be rude, they just kind of sat here. Holding Actually, their pee in, go, and now they feel like. Can go pee. That's yeah, okay. th that was gonna you be can... my follow-up question. Uh, may I use the bathroom, please? Yes. <laughs> Nikki, it is time to make another elimination decision. Naviut, I'm so sorry. It's the end of the road. You have been eliminated from the show. Where would you take Nikki on a first date? Please do tell. I'll go. No, Bob, let's save you for a little bit later. <laughs> All right. Who wants to go first? Let's right, first. Nikki, have you ever heard of, have you ever heard of magnet fishing? Magnet fishing. No. <gasps> right. So it's where it's where you you and a bunch of your boys go down go down the local river and you get this big electromagnet, right? And you launch that into the river and then you pull out stuff that's magnetic out of the river. Now I'm thinking, you know, trolleys and murder weapons, but you know, <laughs> you might find something really interesting. So it depends on the time of season. Um so then I got thinking like maybe like flower picking or something would be really fun. And like a little picnic afterwards, um, or something like that. You know how much I adore you, right? No. But thank you. But if somebody <laughs> took me on a flower picking date, it would be the end of the road. COVID's a thing. And I want to get this date on the road because I would like to not wait for two years before we start going on a date. Yeah. I was going to cook her a fantastic, just a delectable meal and then end it off. I actually, I just made, I just cooked some, this is ice cream and you can see there's two spoons. Well, those so are Baskin Robbins spoons. I ran out of spoons as well. So Estonia and Germany are like pretty similar because, you know, Germany had a pretty big influence on Estonia like throughout the ages because you guys like invaded us a bunch of times or whatever. There's this really great German restaurant in my city where they serve sausages, but I know they are vegan, but they also do vegan sausages. And I, while I did get food poisoning the one time I went there, the food was pretty good. But, but I think if it'll we be fun. if we get food poisoning, are we going to spend our time together while having food poisoning? Yeah, I think that's part of the experience for that's sure. Right, that's right. Exactly. Yeah, totally, yeah. totally. That's of romantic. course. Go ahead. Yeah, so I feel like I'm the only person here that's even listening to you, Nikki. So you said what's important to you is Whoa. getting to know someone. So my solution to this is that I would want to go on a date with you hooked up to a lie detector. So there's so many questions I would want to ask you. For example, like, do I make you feel uncomfortable? 
Um, what do you think about my hairline? D- does Wilbur smell as good as he looks, or is there a little bit of stink? Like all these what things. There's so much that I want to know that I really. <laughs> I can answer all of those questions. Truth. I can right, answer all of yeah. those questions. <laughs> what is this man doing? I will answer anything honestly, and if I do lie on this broadcast, I give you permission to kill me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, Beber, uh, Baron Man, uh, yeah, Iki, uh, yeah, Red Bull and Baron Beer. Okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Time to make an elimination decision, Nikki. Axel, I'm sorry, it's the end of the road. You have been eliminated. I really liked your first date idea, but I feel like it might be more for a second date. You know? Oof. We... He chose host! Axel! He chose host! Good! Get out of here! <laughs> what the- Axel, you ass! Th- this was because of the history between our two countries, really. I just wanted to get vengeance, and I guess now we're even, but I- I mean, the- now we're even, I you mean, lost. The Germans invaded a lot of people, to be fair, okay? <laughs> oh, sh- I, I did lose. You're right. Uh... <laughs> How are you even if you lost? Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to the show to ask a question and be involved. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Quackity! Hey! Thank you! Thank you! I I do have a question, and it's and it's towards Nikki. And listen, I I'm just gonna be real, real straightforward with this question, Nikki. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How much does experience matter to you? All right, I'm. Carl has had several men and women. Uh, across across the entirety of his life, you have seen it on Twitter. You didn't tell me that you were gonna do this. All like ninety percent of my cast here today has been flirting with each other. So yeah, I'm, you know, it's, it's been it's been yeah. Well, what the, the hell are anymore. you doing here? That I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I I could ask myself the same thing. You know, one one moment it's all going well, and then the next minute I see. Nihachu level host announced for this is November. Just like a messy divorce. I'm I'm going after her. I'm I'm going down the same stream she's trying to escape. <laughs> oh, gotcha. You're gonna kidnap her. That's what you're saying. The reason I'm in my parents' house is because I I just got out of a, a, a four year relationship. Bob, I, you were on my huh? show many months ago. Were you in a relationship the entire time, Bob? So you were just cheating on your girlfriend in front of the thousands of people right now. It was it was ethical cheating, I would say. Okay, ethically. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference? I think it was morally sound. Bob Seven, I, you, how many people do you think online or know you're joking? Because I I just think they must hate you. I'd like to have faith in the viewers. I'd like to think highly of them. I don't know mm-hmm. if that's a mistake. Right. Look, so I wish this, this next guest though, right? was, uh, I wish I was joking about our next guest. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to the oh. show, Mr. Tommy! Hey, 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 hey! Hi, Tommy. Show, Seven, Tommy. how do I be more like you? <laughs> Nikki, Nikki, <laughs> one of the cast members, Wilbur, has had little to no experience for you, because he has I, had I just I, no experience. I, 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 you, just, what did you say, Nikki? Oh, nothing. I, nothing, Will. You hey, know, Tommy, I, hey, Tommy, I, Wilbur is here. What, what do you think about that? <laughs> So all right, all right, all right. We have one person who'd like to come in and ask a question. This person has been rejected several, several times. In fact, more often than any person that's ever been on this oh, show. Ladies oh and gentlemen, God. introducing to the show, Jesus not on the Christ. cast today. Oh, it's Miss Minx. Minx, welcome aboard. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, Nikki. How are you? Hi. I'm yeah. actually, I'm less nervous now. Nikki might wholesome. seem wholesome and innocent, but she's not as wholesome and innocent. So, right, here's a tough question. Mm. What do you hate the most about Nikki? The second one is, who has the worst fan base here? <laughs> does, does people not in the Wait, cast oh, count? Oh, what do I hate about Nikki? The, there's only one of her. I'm gonna vomit. Hey, also, her cats hate me. Her you? cats despise me. <laughs> her cats f- hate me, and I don't understand what I did. I don't know what I did to her cats to make them hate me, but they f- despise me. <laughs> Who here has the worst fan base? Uh, I'm gonna go with Carl because Why? they don't they don't half chat about him, do they? Ooh, it seems like <laughs> is there like a close guy. runner up or something? Nope. No. Nope. I know another word for cat. Yeah, I know you. Do you? Yeah. Learned what is it? Earlier. Wait, is he saying pussy? No. <laughs> pussy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Pussy. If we're talking bad fan bases, I got nothing against the Minecrafters. But I do think that the Minecrafters could do a better job 
and making their viewer base get integrated into Twitch culture a little bit better. I would say that, you know, it, lately it's been kind of an invasion and, you know, it's one thing to like, like come to Twitch. We love that. It's another thing to remove the emotes and to say, no, nah, don't use them. Just type POG in all capital letters. That kind of leads into like the only thing that I would say that like I hate about Nikki is I would, I would feel a little bit constrained in terms of the kind of humor that I can make or things like that because, you know, a lot of the fan base is just a little bit, they get upset over things that, you know, you don't really always need to. Let's that to was Bob. the best answer. Let's go to Bob. Me? Me? Oh, yeah, it's definitely your forehead. Um, it's a little bit <laughs> bigger than average. I don't think it looks that bad on you. I, I don't think it's that big of an issue, but the problem is that I also have one. So if we were to have kids, I just worry that our kids would be very top heavy and they'd just be falling over all the time. And that's not ideal. Connor, it's the end of the road. You've been eliminated. <gasps> Dang. Oh, it was, it wow. was in the script you after all. your feelings. Oh. Um, Connor, I totally believe that you are you are here for the first time, and that's for me, and I feel really, really honored. Sometimes you, you can make jokes that my chat gets offended by, and I have seen how my chat acts towards people they don't like, that's and true. I feel really bad. My chat can be brutal, and I'm really sorry. It is what it is. It's fair. He chose... Love. I've done my research. I know the Minecraft community, they love online relationships between creators. That is, you know, I think our wallets would have loved it too, but it is what it is. You know, Connor, I will never forget your DM. That was the sweetest thing oh. ever. Hey, when this doesn't work <laughs> out, Nikki, just let me know. All right. Um, the 22nd of October, mm -hmm. Connor oh. said, Nikki, just wanted to say you're the most wholesome person I think I've ever seen on this. Yep. You didn't respond to him. You just added him. Oh, no, I, said, oh, no, I, didn't I just gave him a thumbs up and that was it. <laughs> Jesus, that's, that's brutal. Person eliminated from the show is. Oh. Bob Seven. It's the end of the show. <gasps> Steve Joe's house. Whoa. Bob Joe's host. Yeah. So, what? I'll, I'll explain Bob. that. Bob. So, no, no, I think you're awesome. Bob. It's just because here's the thing. I'm sort of, I'm starting to bald and people already think I'm a weirdo. So I can't start smooching 19 year old. Like that's just not a good look for me. Yes, I but understand. Being said, I think you're awesome. She I just reached out and I, um, I, I truly do hope that you find love. I, it was a really pleasure. Do you really think I have here. a big forehead? Oh, it's only above average. I wouldn't feel bad about it. <laughs> it's just truly not that big of a deal. It's it's like a minor inconvenience that people can look past. But, Last That's time it. you were on Lover Host, you ended up moving to uh, the country of the person who chose you. My question to you is, are you looking to leave the country and move somewhere else? <laughs> you know, Austin, I, I do get bored of countries I live in very, very easily and very quickly. Mm -hmm. But I do plan to study here. So I will stay here for the next few years. And maybe after I have studied move to a different country or maybe study here for a year and then mm -hmm. move what country you're gonna be, you're gonna be what very you studying? Fun, Nick, well. Nikki, what are you studying uh i'm planning to study psychology and medicine Believe so me. uh, i'm really happy to hear actually that Nikki wants to stay in the same country as me uh in the same county as me uh that is very nearby i'm, I'm really happy to hear that actually that's really that's a really positive really? bit of news yeah yeah i'm very into that what would your future with Nikki look like <laughs> Well, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd love to uh, spend time with you, see you after you finish university, uh, like eat your classes. I'll, I'll always be free in the afternoon. You know, uh, did, I mean, you're learning the bass, aren't you? Uh, we need a bassist in my band. So oh. uh, I'd really love to have you in that as well. I can help teach you some bass. I can play bass quite, quite okay. <clears throat> It'd be wonderful. We have... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, it'd be wonderful. That's it. <laughs> that was, that's I would really like to fly you out when it's safe. And then I want to take you on all these little dates I wrote about. Oh my gosh, that Austin chat on. I'm sorry, Trisha. I'm sorry. I'm actually pretty fucking loyal. So I made Wait, this. Wait, who else actually, is loyal, Trisha? Is Cash App! Cash yeah! App, baby! Yeah! Cash App! Yeah! 100 yeah! gifted subs! Right. Oh my god! They just gave away money in the chat! Trisha, I'm sorry, it's the end of the road. You have been eliminated from Thank the show. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. What are you really looking for? Um, I'm looking for a person that makes me laugh and I don't wanna be lonely during the lockdown because, oh, no. uh, you know, can get really lonely. 
I don't know. The, the problem is I'm a very busy person and I need someone that understands that. So I need someone with a busy schedule too, I guess. Mm. The thing is, is, you know, you can do streams together. You can do stuff together. I'm also very busy. I stream a lot. I think it works out. I think the, uh, I, I think the schedules align. I could stream a lot. You could stream a lot. You could stream here. You'd have fun hanging out in Austin, Texas. It'd be great. Well, if you need somebody that's very busy, I, I work full time at Mr. Beast and then also stream almost full time. I think you and I have proven that our free times kind of do line up. Uh, well, we're quite near each other. Uh, and I recently got a Valve Index. So we can pretend Ooh. we're outside. We can pretend we're outside again. If that doesn't scream escaping the quarantine, I don't know what will. Yo, Austin! Yo! Austin! Yeah. Holy f you gotta You gotta listen to Sean Hannity. No. They just <laughs> called the election for Trump. No, no. They flat. just called the uh, election. You gotta tune into his show live. right now. He's live. I'm going to the website. Oh, God, the person getting eliminated from the show between Carl and Wilbur is... Carl. It's the end of the road. I'm sorry. She flipped a coin and it landed on the person she liked least. <laughs> that is not true, Carl. <laughs> Carl chose love. No. He did. Carl. What did you think? You thought I chose host? I did. What? <laughs> no. I really thought you would have chosen host. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now down to the moment you've been waiting for. It is between now Wilbur Soot and S Van TV. Each one of these gentlemen will have an opportunity to get a one-on-one -on -one date with Nia Chu. After that, she will have to make her final decision. S Van? Mm hmm Two minutes and 30 seconds. Good luck. Thank you. Do you think this is the best Austin show you've been on yet? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. It's been, it's been really nice. So it's, how, been also, so, it's also been the hardest thing ever. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, so how long have you been streaming? A year. Oh, I'm so sorry. A little a over year. a year. Mm -hmm. Only a year. Wow. Yeah. Did you, yeah. And you did YouTube before that? No. What did you What did you think when you first started? Like, why did you start streaming? Um. I. Okay. So I had operations. I just moved to a different country, and I had operations mm -hmm. with which, which didn't allow me to go out and walk. Uh. So I was oh, really? on my computer the entire time. I decided, hey, why not start streaming? And it was mm -hmm. really fun, and I enjoyed it. Did you Did you watch any of the streams? Like, who was your favorite streamer before you Before you started streaming? Um, <laughs> I knew you from your name. I never watched this oh, really? stream, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I knew your name. I'm famous. Um, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to be a semi-professional dancer, which I oh, had to really? give up. Because, yeah, I had to give it up because oh, of the operation. No. Yeah. Um, I volunteer. Um, my last time I volunteer was at a soup kitchen for homeless people. That's good. Just want to make really the world a better place. <laughs> That's awesome. Wilbur Soot, you're going to have Hi, two minutes and 30 seconds. Good luck to you. Hi again, Nikki. Hi, Will. I, we meet I, again. We meet again. I went to go and have a panic attack. <laughs> no. That's why I vanished. I haven't slept, and I did not think I'd be getting this far. <laughs> so well. I, went, I went and had a sit down in the cold and just kind of breathed in. I'm feeling a lot better now. I'm feeling good. Um, I'm glad that I've got my energy back for the final date. Because I I just wanted to say I I think you should pick S Van. I I I I've, obviously I've been playing up a character this whole time, but I, I I genuinely you've 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 whittled it down to a good last two, and I think as long as long as you know that from the bottom of my heart I mean this. Even if you pick S Van, you're still gonna have me here as a friend or as as anyone you want to spend time with. I'll be here if you pick me or you pick S Van. I'm always going to be here for you. Nikki? Hey, Austin. That was so cute. Yeah. Where we have Nikki about to make her final decision. The winner of Lover Host. S Fan TV! Congratulations! What? No way! You have won! Yeah! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nikki. I really, really appreciate that. Wilbur chose love. Um. You know where to find me. <laughs> but I would Wilbur, love I'm sorry, to. man. Just the, sometimes the better man wins. S Van chose host. He chose oh, host. I did. I did. Look, listen. Look, listen. I, Nikki, I think you're great. I think, I think I, the, the show was great. I had a blast. 
super, super fun today. No, but, me too, yeah. Yeah, but but age gap, I think is just a little bit too much. I think other than that, I think you're great. I think you're a lot of fun, and uh, I definitely think we should do some stuff together in the future. Thank Fuck you, you Asad! Fuck you! I vouch for you! Cause you were so sweet! I told her in DMs, I was like, Asad, I vouch for you! And you, you cunt! You cunt! Hey, you run prick! Listen, Mix, man's gotta eat, okay? Man's gotta eat. Yo! Yo! Trump just won! No. <laughs> Trump has won the election! It did. S Van, congratulations. You have Hello. won nearly a 100,000 viewer host. Yeah, that was not expected. Uh, again, dude, Nikki is great. Nikki's a lot of fun. She's super, super cool. I, like I said, it just came down to, to difference in age. I didn't think I was going to, I thought I had no chance. No.